begin with that continuing search for a Navy sailor. The Navy reports the junior petty officer went missing during a training mission on the USS Carter Hall. According to reports, it happened off the coast of Cape Hatteras. Tonight, the Navy and the Coast Guard continue the search. 10 on your side's Matt Gregory has the details. Matt. Yeah, Liz, to give you an idea of what ship the sailor crew, we have video from the Wavy Archives of the USS Carter Hall. It's a dock landing ship, a vessel that the Navy uses to launch landing crafts. The missing sailor was one of the roughly 400 training on board this weekend. Around 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon, the USS Carter Hall worked about 60 miles off the coast of Cape Hatteras. Now, according to Navy officials, this weekend the ship assisted with the Eisenhower Strike Group as those ships prepare for a summer deployment. A spokesperson says one of the crew off the USS Carter Hall noticed a sailor missing from their assigned position. A man overboard call went out, and when the crew did a head count, the sailor did not show up. The Navy would not confirm these details, however, but an internal report obtained by the media outlet The Navy Times reports the sailor is female. And according to that same report, sailors found a pair of boots and a note near the back end of the ship. A spokesperson is not releasing the name or the gender of the sailor right now. Again, we know that person is a junior petty officer. Now, since the sailor went missing, the Navy and Coast Guard have searched that stretch of the ocean. According to the Navy, the Eisenhower Strike Group suspended their training mission to help in the search. The Navy reports they have at least nine ships searching for the missing sailor. And accompanying those ships, I've been told helicopters and smaller crafts continue to search the last known area for the sailor. As far as the temperature of the ocean, the Navy reports by noon today, the water temperature would have risen to 75 degrees. A spokesperson for the Navy sent 10 on your side this message, quote, we're doing everything we can to find and rescue the sailor. Our thoughts and prayers are with the shipmates and families. Like I said, the Navy will not release the name or gender of the sailor at this point. If the sailor has died, they will notify the family, and only after 24 hours of telling the family, they will release the identity to the public. Matt Gregory, 10 on your side.